Hi, my name is Jade and this is my story. I grew up in a Christian home. My parents were loving and they were good to me. It was a pretty normal childhood. We went to church every Sunday, so I learned about God's love from an early age. I knew that God loved me, I just didn't feel it. I didn't feel special, like he had made me for a specific purpose. Because I didn't think that God specifically cared about me, I didn't think much of myself and doubt began to creep into my life. I had doubt about being good enough and I thought that maybe if I could be the smartest student in school, then I would feel loved. And I also had doubt about feeling accepted and I knew that if God loved me, then I wouldn't feel rejected, but then my doubt turned into fear and I felt far from God. I had a weak emotional connection with him and I didn't feel loved and isn't that what I was supposed to be feeling? So feeling vulnerable and searching for answers, I went to my friends for help. I wanted to know how they knew God loved them and how they felt love, but I realized everything they said about God being love still didn't make sense to me. I had no connection to God's love and I felt so distant from him. Then one year at a Christian retreat, everything started to change. God revealed his love to me and this is how it happened. Someone I don't even know came up to me while we were praying and I remember her words so clearly. She said, I don't know you, but God wants me to tell you that he understands how you feel, that you don't feel good enough, that you don't feel loved, but he does love you and he wants you to feel his love, his real love. I was already amazed, but that wasn't all. Next, a friend came up to me and she let me know that she had also been praying for me. She told me not to fear rejection and not to let it stop me from pursuing my dreams. After my friend left, I stood there and thought, wow, God just sent two different people to talk to me, but God wasn't finished affirming me yet. My pastor was also praying for me and he came to me and said that there was this wound that God was telling him about in my life that was causing fear and anxiety. He told me that God wants me to be free from that. In that moment, I began to feel God's love because he had singled me out and he was pursuing me and sending his message of love to me through different people. Everyone was telling me the same thing. God loves me. Then something began to change. I opened up and began to accept God's love in a completely new way. I became amazed that the creator of the entire universe would be so intentional as to show me how much he loves me. This was a pivotal moment in my faith, but making a heart change didn't happen overnight. As stated in Corinthians, love is unconditional, sacrificial, and free. I used to think, okay, God loves me, but he also loves everyone, so I'm not that special. But I am special. I not only know it, but I feel it. My outlook on life is changed. I am free from the self-doubt and fear that I once had, and now I am confident. I truly believe that God loves me.